Hi, we are demonstrating today the new virtual infrastructure plugin to integrate HP Storage Work CVAs into your VI client. The installation is really straightforward. You can see on the screen the prerequisites of the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, connect to your ESX or to your virtual center server. Once you are logged in, show this page. We can now see that three AVAs are available to this command view AVA. The first pane allows you to validate that the plugin pulled the right command view information. You should, for example, see information like the array model, the firmware level, and some capacity statistics. Navigate to the inventory button on the top left of your VI client. Next, select one of your VMs and then click on the newly appeared tab called HP VA. You can see from this view all the storage information for a given virtual machine. For example, we can see here that this VM has eight virtual disk mapped, of which one is a VMFS. For any of these virtual disks, you can see on the right window on which data store the VMDK is located. On the lower right pane, you can see some details about the disk group, such as the number of disk drives, the total capacity and the space available for each VRED type. If the VM virtual disk that you selected is replicated at the array level through continuous access, you should have an extra line showing details about the replication mode such as the destination array or the replication mode. Now select your ESX server. You can browse through three different views. From the data store view, you can see the standard ESX information. On the next column, you can see detailed information about your data store. For example, we can see that the data store DS Infra 2 is stored in the slash CP directory of the array EVA Prod 1. It is stored on a 146 GB fiber channel disk group as a VRED 5 LAN. Now, on the LAN view, we can see a complete inventory of the LANs available to the system. This is particularly useful in large environments where we can see more than 100 VMFS or RDM volumes per cluster. At the host bus adapter level, we can see some information regarding the targets, the LAN seen from each HBA as well as the active passes. If we come back to the plugin, we can see a nicely integrated access to command view EVA software. If you are a storage administrator as well as an ESX administrator, you will benefit from being able to administrate your command view EVA directly from VMware. Well, this is all for today. You can visit our website to find out more details about these new features for VMware.